Greetings my esteemed subscribers, today I thought to talk a bit about the concept of revolt against the modern world and I thought to utilize a certain example, I have a fine tome of wisdom from Arctos, looks like this and I will give a shout out to Arctos, I think they have a very good selection of good books I'm not paid to say that, I just think that is the case So this book by Mark Dial Hated and Proud, Ultras Contra Modernity. I haven't read all of it, but I've read enough to say that it's interesting. And also, my main critique of the book is that he uses the utmost blasphemous term of soccer. Absolutely forbidden to use such uh, terminology. There is no such thing as soccer. It's American football, or you have football. So football then is what uh, the author describes as soccer. Anyway, that's uh, not the main point. I just wanted to have that said so no uh, so no one buys this book and then get a shock because he uses that term. But anyway, he has uh, spent some time with uh, the Ultras of Roma, so one of the teams from Rome in Italy. And I thought it was a brilliant book to showcase you know, some critique against the modern world and in this case modern football because it's a good example on how to illustrate the modern world and global homo on one side and a more traditional and traditional football on the other hand. So we can take a Roma ultra, a Roma supporter. What is his connection to the football club? Yeah, he is from Rome. He is a proud native of Rome or whichever city it might be. It could have been Chelsea in the British uh, Premier League uh, 50 years ago, but uh, yeah, a proud Roman citizen. He has his entire family there, his community is there, his uh, support for his team is there, and when he goes with his mates, who are also people he has perhaps known his entire life, you know, native Romans, they go to the stadium to cheer for the team, and perhaps they have a mate playing in the team because he is also from Rome. So you have this sort of thing that the team is connected to a uh, city, in this case Rome, a community, a uh, culture and ethnicity. So you have all of these sort of things rooting it in one place which creates you know a wholesome and uh, real community. And on the other hand you have modern football and this applies to the American case as well. So if we look upon this uh, American football fan Boom, what does he have in common with the American football player? Boom. And same thing, we can take an even more absurd example. We have a Swedish guy who is very fervently supporting a English football team. He's supporting Manchester United. But what does he have in common with the players in Manchester United? What does he have in common with the team itself? So there you have a difference and also something I must mention here when we talk about revolting against the modern world. What does it not mean? It does not mean that you're a Luddite, it does not mean that you're against technology, it does not mean that you think Europe or America in the 50s was the ultimate place, uh, time and place to be. That is not the case. Tradition with a capital T is about perennial values that are always with us. So it's not going back a hundred years and thinking that uh, everything that is now is bad. And to explain this further, I actually have another book also from Arctos, and this is a uh, interview from um, with Dominic Venner, and I have a good quote to um, illustrate my point. And we're talking about the victors of the Second World War, so communism and uh, Americanism as economic systems. The hatred for old Europe was also a major motivation for the communists. They too wanted to create a new man, a homo economicus, an economic man. Rational and unchanging, liberated from the shackles that are his roots, nature and culture. And I will repeat that last uh, part. Liberated from the shackles that are his roots, nature and culture. So that is basically what this is about. The uh, homo globo attitude that you need to be unshackled, freed from your roots. Obviously we as identitarians know that this is not something that you want. You are a tree and you don't want to get uprooted and just uh, spread to the wind. You want to have strong, firm, deep roots in your local culture, in your community, in your ethnicity, in your spirituality. The more deep roots you have, the better. And in the liberal 
leftist homogeny that we have today, this is then a bad thing. So there you have the global homo vision of a economic man understood only in terms of purchasing power or whatever. And you have the more identitarian capital T vision of the world where you are rooted in something. So yet again, to take the example of an American football team or a modern British team in the Premier League on one side versus the more authentic, in this case, Roma uh, team from Italy. So yes, there we have a good example on the difference between these sort of things. It might be hard to just understand the concept of revolt against the modern world and think that it means, you know, that you're against technology or whatever. But what it means is on one side you have something that everyone can participate in. On the other side, you have something that is deeply rooted in other things. So to promote my own company a bit, this is not for everyone. This is not Global Homo. This is not something that you can just put on. And also I saw some criticism that this is, you only need to be white to have this. No, absolutely not. Most whites are degenerates. Most whites should never come near a Legio Gloria garment in the modern world because they're decadent and undeserving of it. This is something you deserve after a long period of hard consistent work, something that is deeply rooted in a higher understanding of the world. So this is not global homo. So anyway, I hope that brought some insights to you all. XXO, boom.